Ah, easy there, Doc. I'm not fucking invincible. This is purely your fault, Patrick. Vincent told me you had blood loss on the way here. Yeah, he already told me the price of a cleanup in his car. So tell me, why did you decide to stay in plain sight, right in the middle of the street? I never make smart decisions, Doc. I was watching that red slowly dying. I wasn't thinking clearly. Thanks. Now I have to change my shirt, drink something and I'll do one more thing. No way, Patrick. You can't throw yourself into action again. You're wounded. So what? When I was in Walrus Company, we had a guy who kept killing his enemies while he had no legs. But it's not a war right now. It's your criminal bullshit again. So you call me a criminal while you're performing illegal surgeries in this fucking basement? I can't even imagine what kind of shit happened on the separating table. <sighs> Alright, fine. You want to die. I will help you. Here. These are used by military forces in extreme conditions. Once your wound opens, take a few pills. You'll be able to handle any sort of situation. Huh. Will I survive? It all depends on what you're going to do. Back in 2013, my brother had worked for a bunch of contacts who introduced him to this greedy couple, Anthony and Henry Gregson. I'm not sure what happened between them and my brother, but at some point they decided to leave him behind. They led him into an ambush, a deal they could never end well. He was left alone with his friend on a desert highway, with a broken car and a bunch of dead bodies lying around. That was probably a huge mistake, because he finally found them. Now, he wants revenge. Where do you think you're going? Upper floors are closed for shit like you. Get lost. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to go there without your fucking permission. Hold on a second, I think I know him. You're Patrick, right? No, I'm a beautiful fucking fairy. Mr. Gregson says you are not allowed to be here. Which one of them said that? Both of them say that. Why? Mr. Gregson says you betrayed him and his brother some time ago. And now he doesn't want to see you. Oh, so I betrayed him. Unfortunately, there's been a change of plans, huh? Tell me, did Mr. Gregson said anything about using force to stop me? Uh, no. Oh, perfect.
check that corner. I'm covering you. Andrew, why are you calling me from an unknown number? I don't know where he is. All I know is that after the hit, his friend Vincent picked him up and they went to some doctor or something. He planned to visit one more place after that, but I don't know where it is. Wait, hold on a sec. You mean you went to the building alone? It's filled with criminals from all over the city. He's probably fucking dead already. The building? What is it? Just pick me up at Edison Street. I'll tell you where to go. Oh, and also, I'm not alone.
You two stay in the car, I'm going in. If I won't come out in five minutes, drive my car away. Really? Was it so hard to tell her I was the one who gave you information about his current location? Listen, is it really that important right now? Fucking idiots want to fight a woman. Come on, I don't have much time for this crap. женщин не бью, но ты, сука, я такая допрыгалась. Да, да, давай. Пиздец тебе. Just in time. What? We got to get out of here. I didn't plan to get arrested today. This is Detective Winter speaking. We have you surrounded, Hunt. Come out with your hands up. Game over. Listen, there is a window in the apartment near the elevator. Jump out of it and run. I'm going to surrender. What the fuck are you talking about? Just follow the plan. Alright, there's basically no other way out, Patrick. You'll have to tell me this whole story from the beginning, since the moment you came to the United States, and to this exact day. You already know this story, Winters. I have nothing else to tell you. You probably don't get it, hon. I've got your fucking ass. 
You have nowhere to run, so it's either you tell me everything, or you're going to jail. And God only knows when you'll come out. Okay, fine. You'll have it, detective. My whole story starts in 2008. 